Okay, question 24. OACB is a parallelogram. What does that mean? If, if O to A to C to B, to B is a parallelogram, it means that must be parallel to that. Okay, so if this vector is A, this vector must be A, and this must be parallel to this. So if this vector is B, this vector must be little b as well. So that's probably the first easy thing to do, to fill in on the diagram. Okay, OA is A, OB is B. D is the point such that A to C is equal to C to D. So uh, D is the point such that A to C is equal to C to D. So you can see that C is the midpoint of this, and these are the same distance. So equivalently, that therefore must be uh, B as well. Okay? Right. So, um, because to get from here to here is B, so, and because that's the same as that splits exactly in half, this here must be B as well. Right. So, um, point N divides AB in the ratio 2 to 1. So this is two parts and this is one part. Write an expression for O to N in terms of A to B. So we're trying to get from O to N here. So let's think about what we might do in order to do that. To go from O to N, okay, I would probably go from O uh, to A, from here, and then I would go from A to N. So plus A to N. That would certainly get me there. Now, the question is, what's A to N? So we'll come back to that, or we'll do some working. We'll come back to that. Let's, work, let's do a little bit of working of A to N. Okay? Now, if we want to go from A to N, it's two parts out of three parts from A to B. So it's two-thirds of whatever A to B is. Now, A to B, how do you get from A to B? It's, it's negative B plus A, or B subtract A. So this is two-thirds B subtract A. Why is that again? Let's just think, how do you get from A to B? Well, you go negative A plus B, so you go negative A plus B, which is the same as B subtract A, and you're going two-thirds of the way, two out of the whole thing, three uh, of the way. So that's what A to N is. So going back here to our original working, O to N, we said was O to A, so O to A is equal to A, and then we're going to go uh, along here, so we said that's two-thirds B subtract A, which we can expand out. So two-thirds B subtract two-thirds A. Now, we've got A, and we're subtracting two-thirds A. We've got one A, we're subtracting two-thirds A, we're left with a third A and two-thirds B. Next part is with the star. We're asked to prove that OND is a straight line. So let's draw this thing in, OND. So let's get a ruler. This would help you in the exam just to get your bearings. O to N to D, O to N to D. We're asked to prove that's a straight line. Now, how could we do that? Well, we could do that. If, if we showed that O to N was parallel to O to D or N to D, and obviously they share the same point N, if they're parallel and share the same point, they must be equal, they must be on a straight line. Now, do we know O to N? From the first part, you've got to think, what did you do in the first part? The first part, we have this. We have a third A plus two thirds B. For O to N, which obviously you could factorise. If you factorise that a third, it would be A plus 2B. Okay, that's O to N. Now, is there any way we could go from um, O to D, let's say? How could we go from O to D? O to D. Well, O to D is A plus B plus B, which is A plus 2B. It's equal to A adds 2B. Okay? Now, you know that O, N and O, D share a point. N is on both of these. So they share a point and also they're parallel. How do you know they're parallel? Because this one, it, they both have the same vector, A plus 2B. This one's a third A plus 2B. So because O, D 
is equal to a plus 2b and on is equal to a third a plus 2b, we can say that on is equal to a third of od. One's a multiple of the other, so therefore they're parallel. They share point n, therefore same line, or they lie on a straight line, and we're done.